But on the bright side, we have some more stuff we can do in Genshin. So I uh, I have actually been playing off stream because Genshin is fucking awesome. Okay. I'm I'm in love with this game. It is a very, very good game. But I have withheld from doing the Archon quests, which I believe to be the story quests. I did do the Lantern Rite, and I kind of wish I could have shared that, because there were so many cute things in the Lantern Rite. But I've been working on some stuff, and if this would load sometime this century. I've been working on some things, been leveling my characters, uh, and I'm trying to assemble some sort of B-team uh, for the Spiral Abyss, which... I Spiral Abyss is something I started doing uh, off stream. And I got to a point where I needed two teams, and I straight up don't have that many good characters. I'll show you my team once it loads. Uh, this is actually currently my, like, ghetto B team of me just getting stuff together and making it work. It's Ning Wong. Oh, by the way, I got her new outfit. She is great looking in it. I much prefer this to her regular outfit, because her regular outfit looked kind of weird, and the color palette is kind of bleh. Uh, Xin Yang, Barbara, and Sucrose. But I've mostly been running them because those are the characters that I have that are good. That, like, not in that I good, that have been leveled, because each of them was, like, leveled as part of working on my main, as an extra on my main team. But my main team, we're still maining Lisa. Here, let me help you. We still I got trust Bay. You. We have been running Amber, who At has been an excellent utility character, and I have set up as a elemental burst character. She just, I literally, like if she, her uh, Baron dummy hits anything, uh, it gives her enough elemental energy to fire her burst off. Like it's, it's insane how quickly I can get those off. And I've been using Chinku. Chinku? Zinku? Chinku? I'm I'm terrible with names. Please, please forgive me. Um, whose uh, water sword stuff gives healing. Uh, it applies wet, which is great for Lisa's damage. And his ult, which is easy to get, by the way. Um, his ult really does turn Lisa into a damage machine, because it just causes me to be able to... Uh, chain electrocharged over and over and over and over again, and it'll just absolutely murder everything in my way. Now, I was running around doing the uh, revelations things because I'm trying to get my B team leveled up, because as you can see, I have not done so yet. I'm just spending these now because I want to get her to 60. The right side, she's at 60 now. I'm gonna hold off on Sucrose. So the problem I'm having with my B team is between these two, they're very tanky, but Barbara and Sucrose feel like they don't belong. Like, at all. So, like, I'm not really certain what to do when it comes to that. Uh, I already did my daily commissions. I did them before uh, for today's op, uh, which unfortunately get like I don't I don't know why I just said that. Like you guys, like I said that to people who were not here five seconds ago. Yes, I did it before the op that was just canceled. But I do have plenty of side quests. Uh, I could do some story quests. And we also have a, uh, sorry, uh, a Archon quest. <laughs> now, where was I? I was, whoa. Think. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do... What do you say we give a story quest a, tr a try? Because I haven't... Jay, I'm like going through all my menus. I haven't ever done a story quest before. And I believe I can unlock clays. Uh, 
Okay, so now... Oh, yes, and I've also... Got another key here. I have more, but... A lot of them, like... Omnipresence over mortals. Who seems to be... It seems to be the, uh... It seems to be like a barrier for Archon Quest, so for a lot of these things. But I want to go ahead. I want you to wait until night. Okay, we will wait till night. But I want to go ahead and try out a story quest. I haven't done it before. I have no idea what the rewards are for. Please, cute. Talk to patent. Okay, yeah, this is at uh, the angel share. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and try out a story quest. This is new. So, I didn't expect to be playing more Genshin today. <laughs> but I wanted to. I want to stream today. I've you know, I've set a schedule. I'm gonna stream. And unfortunately, we've had had ourselves uh, some icky stuff happen. So, we're gonna keep on that. And on for and I Arcane Arts and Crafts is not ready. I need to do more stuff. Anything the knights can do for you? <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. That's a weird thing to be saying to a random. What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in. Oh, he wasn't talking to me. Recently, all the customers again. at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? It's me. The strongest fighter? Hmm. <gasps> Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly trolls with just one punch. Then Paimon nominates you. Good but choice, anyway, Paimon. is there like the general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city of freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. <laughs> That's a weird... Everyone's got their own opinion. That's a weird Backed way up to by a that. unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest. That's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the dandelion knight. The other is the Dark Knight hero. Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you. Thank you, Paimon. But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. So Maybe we'll pick Diluc, up some juicy who's gossip. Who's the Dandelion Knight? Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. Shut <sighs> up. My life I guess of I'll leisure just getting bashed get around back by to monsters. Mm. Climbing fucking mountains and getting set on fire routinely fuck you <laughs> come in take a seat we have a few specials today at angel share <laughs> oh, life of leisure five minutes ago i was getting jumped on by a burning blob slime all right hey eagle I, i'm sorry do you want to hear my latest composition I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Uh, did this guy just sing amigo to affect a, a Spanish accent? Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girly who wears red. That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago when I went up to the Storm Bear Mountains course, looking for inspiration for my new song. As opposed Guess to what happened? What happened? I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole <laughs> landscape in that part of the mountains. <laughs> Klee does bombs, Holy doesn't she? I, I'm not that familiar with Klee. I was hiding behind a she bush and I saw this she? little That's girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but... Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a I mean, little Amber far does it. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. 
Maybe even the most powerful treasure in what? all of Mondstadt. That is did a... Did you say treasure? Paimon, down. Did Paimon imagine that, or did you hear it too? Paimon. <laughs> it's just a guess. I mean, thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do... Hey, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Hmm. I can't Doesn't even believe sound like your much accent. to go on. But thanks for your intel. Also, how did we get from strongest fighter destruction to... to treasure? What'll it be today? The strongest fighter? I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Because it's the Dark Knight hero. Because you think it's the Dark Knight hero. Huh. Right? Right? Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. Exactly! That's what Paimon was getting at! <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. You fucking liar! But if you made me pick someone... There it go. would be the Dark Knight hero. There you go. Yes. I've heard some stories about him. Of course you're gonna him. say that about your owner. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! We know- <laughs> Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble <sighs> all over the place, aren't they? So this is always something that happens when you have stories that you can kind of do it. We know who the Dark Knight hero is. We literally helped him do all this stuff. It's Dylan Kitts who owns the place. We know you engage in espionage. We literally helped you do it. Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Mondstadt's famous wine too? That voice acting was amazing. It's a bad line, but uh, that was really... The strongest wow, fighter of them all. That would be Jean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Grandmaster Jean is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. I buy that, though. And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes of Dada Upa Gorge all by her. So, no, she can't. No one can. Otherwise, we wouldn't they have such back. a carefree existence. With nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. You can't get rid of, this you can't guy clean data for a gorge. I've massacred them over and over and over again. They come back every time. Hey, Cyrus. Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? Give in me. my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. Stanley! Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Uh, what are bloodthirsty those? Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mar Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Yeah! Bam! Wham! What were you thinking I'm gonna say? I'm, I'm a professional psychopath. Pat <laughs> was right about one thing. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever uh, gonna whoa. find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Do we care? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. Bet the Knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. Let's see if they have Don't my worry, high score. Though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. You damn well better. I'll eat you if you don't. We know how this works. <laughs> oh, it's daytime now. Oh, they must have changed the day on me. Yeah, some of the storytelling in this game gets a little goofy because they... Things can be done out of order, so like... This quest doesn't recognize that I've done the Dark Knight Hero quest. Um, and thus, I know that the Dark Knight Hero is Diluc, and I know these things. It's not important, obviously, but it is kind of funny. I don't know, I like to imagine the bartender just being a... Uh, being a 
Huh, what's a good kind of rude thing to say about him, but isn't so rude as to imply that I don't like him? Pulling my leg? Yeah, there you go. He's pulling my leg on that one. Jean! Oh, Master Jean! Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. <sighs> I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Hyman was hoping she would at least make the top five. <laughs> oh, that line sounds different <laughs> well, in voice. <laughs> although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Why do I get to be a real knight? Which reminds me... Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city. Although he is keeping a low profile. Uh. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting <laughs> strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Order, she'll climb up that ranking table faster than she climbs up all those cliffs! Well, either way, smashing <laughs> the Abyss Order to bits Hi, is Mom. the right thing to do! Yes, yes. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious, but be careful out there. You know, I don't know anything about Jean. I barely got to see her. Uh oh. She's like a little girl. Uh, Huh? Uh, I, I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Sorry for bumping into you. Hey, look! What? Explosion inside the city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monstep be bombed, Klee be doomed. <laughs> There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy that's wall. A, that's Explosions a can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Monstep be bombed, Klee be doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. <laughs> survival rules? Yeah, rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Yep. The Kaya writes weird. Ah, I forgot to introduce Kaya myself. Kaya writes weird, apparently. My name is Klee. <laughs> Hello, Klee. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Monsta. Yes, wow. me. More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy she right now! She said me, not you, Paimon. I Pai heard Mon. it from Amber. <laughs> but wait, no! There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods, it's gone. Did you say buried treasure? And she has treasure! Mm -hmm. Seriously? Clay gets six finger Jose's vote for strongest fighter in Mondstadt? What is wrong with people? Appearances can be Plus deceiving. Plus treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Here. Here's where the map I says the treasure should be. I love her little I put a circle around it. keychain. <laughs> Look at it. I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. <laughs> Simon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. <laughs> Come on, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go. Look at it. I love it. It's so cute. Uh, hold on. 
that could probably just port part of it. Yeah, there we are. Let's go. Let's go help Klee. seem really busy recently. So Klee must not disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. Ah. I never thought I'd have a new big sister to help me. <laughs> I'm oh. so happy. Oh, adorable. <laughs> also, the, she's the one reason we're talking about, I guess. The, the Bernie one. <laughs> Also, we haven't met Albedo. We're here! This is the place! <laughs> Look! This is where my huge treasure was buried! And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground! It's... an Abyss Mage! Hey, maybe he's the oh one Gene was warning us cute. about! Look at it. What's that in his hand? <gasps> my treasure! What? Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! Get him! <laughs> What's in a fish mage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft and fluffy. I want to pet it. You are very naive, but I agree. They do look very soft and fluffy. Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? <laughs> Rain outlines your fate. Oh, come a little closer. <laughs> You've been a naughty boy. Yeah, I learned that with uh, Lisa, it's kind of more important to actually just get your, your violet arcs out than it is to like get a full free stack. You're in for a little shock. Hup, come a little closer. Blitz. Hup, careful, Klee. Don't be drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh, la 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 oh, la la la. Okay, la, I la, guess. La 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 la. What just happened? We're here. This what? is look. What's this happened? Where there's now a huge empty hole. It's what's that? <gasps> what? Mm. What just happened? I see the little girl is what just like hey, reset you. me. What just happened? You think... What's in the basement? Wild. What's going I've been on? I the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft and fluffy. I want to games up. I agree, oh. soft and fluffy. But what the heck just happened? You fool! <laughs> There's a chronomancer at work here. Witness the power. He. Huh? Huh? Here. He. Huh? Here. You. By the way, this is what I'm talking about when I say that, like. Huh? Huh? She just turns into a killing yeah. machine. Just look at how much damage they're taking. I'm Don't just be drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh. That's right. Grandmaster Jean oh, says that stealing is wrong. Hold on, one moment. I just need to pick these sunsetias. Are sunsetias a real fruit? They look delicious. Freeze! 
That girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I'd... <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. No escape! What just happened? What just happened? just happened why is, is this quest bugging out on me what the hell okay weird a gateway to a domain the abyss mage must have snuck inside <sighs> you okay Clee? Clee, do you need a rest why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you no i'm coming with you Aww. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. <laughs> Mr. Fluffball! <laughs> Don't worry. Clee is a big girl. We gonna Come fuck on, Miss Honorary Knight. Up. Let's go. Let's go. You go for his knees. <laughs> oh, you know what? Clee. I'm not a huge fan of... Well, she might make a good B-team member. Now that I'm thinking about it. We'll play with her a bit and see what happens. She does very much... Oh, she's a Catalyst user. Oh, she's a Catalyst Fire user. She's the first Catalyst Fire user I've run into. <laughs> I suspect, uh, I think, I, I think Yanfei is probably the other one who is a Catalyst Fire user. What does this do? Oh, wow, that's... That's actually kind of sick. Oh, 
chest. La la la. Right. Jumpy jumpy go! She actually could make an A-team member. Just set him on fire, hit him with the overload. Hmm. We'll see. Nah, I, I think she definitely would make more sense in the B-team. I just need something to take advantage of the elemental reaction. Because this is, like, really easy. Yeah. Everything is broken here. Oh, oh, okay, I guess. Oh my god, Klee is actually shorter. And thus fits into other spaces. Are you kidding me? You are fucking with me. Get hit here. My. Uh, I might actually have just. My. I'm getting chain killed here. Don't be such a brute. Wow, I'm getting chain killed. What is this bullshit? Going out is tiring. I'm not even gonna restore Lisa. We will get her out of statue when we're done. Oh my god, that's amazing that Klee can just walk under things. Yep. I love how they demonstrated this too! <laughs> That's amazing! She's too short! That really hurt! No escape! Power of the desert I still find myself a little confused as to where these lasers are coming from. I guess lasers are just not what I expected to see. Can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. 
This is it. This time, I'm done for. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just boom blows himself up. That was amazing. You just like a novice evoker, just like, hey, what does uh, this do? Wait, so Klee's treasure is a bomb? No wonder Klee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. <laughs> Paimon, for one, is never picking a fight with her, ever. Hold on, why has she gone and run off? Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and report to Jean. Oh dear. Gave me the chest. Precious chest. I got five Primo gems. Yay. To the Knights Headquarters. A very volatile treasure. Yeah, that's selling it short, don't you think? I don't know why... That actually seems to be a fairly common character type. The, like... Child explosive expert. You know? That seems to be a fairly common... I wonder why. Hey, everybody. We're back. Bomb girl Please? did a thing. You're here, too? I... I turned myself in. <laughs> Aww. Hey, poor baby. I my my bomb. I I hurt someone. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Clee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Why is that? But but Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. Hey, come we on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose. What? what? I don't get it. I'm going to be honest, I don't get this it This was an oversight hey. on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active. Aha! That's it! Paimon understands now! They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no! Yeah. To try, try, to try and get what, the facts on the treasure. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So... Does that mean? In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Whoa! Miss Honorary Knight, you've gotta come too! I don't know what, I don't know what this is. Whoop-de-doo! It's a happy ending! Except... Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I, um... Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! <laughs> uh, Bless she's it. giving us that look that means play along! Klee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> mm. bets fish Klee must murderer. get bored in there all by herself. Fish slayer! <laughs> Door the confinement. <laughs> oh, what is his name? We are allowed to. The spacing is weird. That's Paimon's voice I hear. Ooh, ooh, yes, please. Wait, no, I, I can't. <laughs> Klee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version. Oh no. Um, when you say treasure... <laughs> I made it into the shape of a Harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. 
just wait for Ludi half past him. Oh, yeah. Oh, They're gonna no. love it. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this, Klee might find herself grounded for an awful <laughs> lot longer. <laughs> Oh, that was adorable. Hey, oh, I got 60 Prima Gems! And some more XP! That was actually really nice. <laughs> Bombs. <laughs> Trying to blow the fish up at Starfield Lake again. It's a good thing she didn't try that, like, earlier when, say, we first arrived and we're getting our powers. <laughs> Also, is there a story as to why she wants to blow up the fish? That seems like an oddly specific thing to blow up the fish of Starfell Lake. You know? Huh. I think we'll hold off on more of these. Huh. More dragon crown stuff. Well, let's go find out about these treasure hoarders. I accidentally triggered the cutscene, but basically they said that treasure hoarders were trying to steal abyss mage stuff which i can't imagine is a particularly intelligent idea then again other than being violent magic casters i don't i haven't noticed anything about the ab abyss that says that their their like items are dangerous i wonder if i'm just crazy <sighs> Perfect weather for sipping a cup of tea while gazing out the window. Or shocking fools into oblivion. <laughs> oh, rain ended. She's so much more damage in the rain. What do we got here? Oh, another domain. Looks like. Hopefully this time we won't get, uh... I should be okay. You know what? I bet you Ganyu is going to be my fifth. No doubt about it. I like... I actually have little to back that up, but she was the one who gave the quest. She's not here. Well, that teaches me to open my fucking mouth. I'm very there sweary today. There's some treasure order activity here. They must have come to these ruins. Let's go deeper inside. Paimon sure hopes Ganyu's information is reliable. Oh, I can't break this. Interesting. This is spooky. This there is aren't like many a... guards here. Looks like their plan to draw away the Abyss Order's forces really worked. Let's get it. No, my sword. <laughs> <laughs> More signs that a treasure hoarder was here. This should be the right direction. But why does it feel stranger and stranger as we make it deeper into these ruins? What the? Fuck? <laughs> Um, be careful now. Paimon's right behind you. You're seeing this, right? What's with this? This the book, Doomba. Oh. Cabbage from ancient ruins. The best source of cabbage. Whoa! Freaky. 
This looks cool. With like the spiky claw spikes? What's going on here? Spooky. Okay, okay. I'm intrigued. Come on, show us some evil magic. Uh oh. Whoa! Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm like, dude. This looks I'm like, like dude, a was that thing headless? No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's... Could it be the Grand Thief? Oh. Why is he in that position? Is he praying to something? <gasps> That's. Uh, oh, it is. It looks like a venti statue. Uh, or a, a barbarian. Why is the statue of the seven hanging upside down? Okay. And the statue's hands. Paimon remembers they're normally holding an orb, right? But this statue is holding. What is that? Uh. Paimon has a really bad feeling about Spooky. this. And the Grand Thief hasn't moved an inch. Um, Paimon? hello? Are you okay, mister? The, the spookiest thing he, is that he's just dead. He's dead. Oh, he is dead. Okay. Paimon doesn't feel so good. Oh, let's get out of here. And fast. We should report back to Ganyu and Lon. Ah! Now what? We can't stay here! Quick, run! Whoa! Ground looks weird. <laughs> oh! Did I fuck up? I may have fucked up. Oh no, they're back now. Whoop. <laughs> Don't look like they come back. to that guy but he was just dead whoa what the fuck is that you cannot spy on the secrets of the abyss oh. you have come here you have seen our secrets for this you must pay the price as a herald, oh. I will mete out your punishment. I think shit just got and real. Abyss, herald. Dane. Dane's live. Oh, I thought you were just a couple of pests that stumbled in here by mistake. So, you are with Dane's live. That constant annoyance in our affairs. Crusader of the Abyss. Did he send you here to die? His resistance against the Abyss has gone nowhere for a long time. There is nothing you can do to change the tide. The Abyss is unstoppable. Okay, shit what got real. Water? Back off! You're in for a little shock. Whoa. That's a new one. Just You've been a naughty boy. Yeah. 
Closer. You're in for a little shock. Oh, he did too. Did not expect the second one. Oh, he's hurt now. This power, it seems familiar. I see. So it's you. You are the one. Blink, blink? In that case, I shall stay here no longer. Whoa. <sighs> what a tough battle. He had some fancy moves. Okay? I don't know how it said that was tough. Oh, such a strong enemy. Who knew the Abyss Order had monsters this powerful among- Huh? First time I've seen something it? from the Abyss that seems threatening. What are you thinking about? Oh, right, yeah. We're near the exit now. Let's get out of this scary place before something even more dangerous shows up. Shh, yeah, no kidding. That was the first, like, thing from the Abyss Order that actually seemed threatening, because everything else I've seen from- So, hey! we meet again. A little sooner than I had expected. Hey, it's Dane! Judging by your expression, it seems you just experienced something quite strange. Could it be that you encountered an Abyss Herald in those ruins? Huh? How did you know that? I've been on the Abyss hey. Herald's trail. I didn't expect to find you here as well. Very An strange. inverted statue of the Seven, holding abyssal power in its hands. No, I have never seen such a thing during my time fighting the Abyss. Though I have had my suspicions. Tell me the rest of what happened in there, so you escaped the ruined depths filled with abyssal- And then, as we got close to the exit, an Abyss Herald suddenly- We fought a what? big battle with that thing. Yes. This is a rare opportunity indeed. Come, let's catch up. Let's go! A rare opportunity with helping out. Alright, let's I'm like actually interested in what the heck's going on here. The geoculus up there. I'm I'm actually just gonna get moving. I'm actually I wanna know what's going on here. Because this is the first time that anything about the Abyss Order has seemed threatening. Like, most of the time it's stuff like this. Which doesn't even seem relevant half the time. But this is... Ow! Oh, that's a bad one. Let me weave you a burst. Surrender and will be gentle. Uh, oh no. I'm gonna ruin it. Go talk to Eric, buddy! I should have waited until now to. No escape! Over here! Eyes on me! Rain outline. Huh? Gosh, this was not a clean fight by me. Come a little closer. <laughs> I could have done that a lot better. Those abyss mages just now. Were they trying to ambush us? Nah, it didn't look like it. No. They were just digging through these abandoned ruin guards looking for something of value. Oh, is that so? 
The Traveler here seems to like doing that a lot, too. Hey. Looking for chaos devices, chaos circuits, you know, that kind of stuff. Hmm. They wouldn't be searching for such ordinary objects. In fact, I was nearby investigating precisely because abyss mages often come out from that ruin to explore. They seem to be searching the remains of ruin guards for a certain valuable object to take back to the ruins. Hmm. However, they look disappointed. Well then, why didn't you grab one of them just now and ask what they were up to? I certainly don't mean to be merciful towards these monsters of the abyss, but I have a feeling that their plan with this object is of major importance to the entire abyss order. Okay. One cannot discover the truth behind it through interrogation. Or rather, these abyss mages likely fear something else. Uh, Hyman is getting goosebumps thinking about all of this. All right, we shouldn't waste too much time here. Let's continue our search. How do the hilly churls fit into this? Are they like from the abyss or are they just like... Like dudes that the abyss dudes push around? Like, how does that work? Because they often seem in charge of them. Are they just like influencing them and the, the hilly churls are just normal dudes? Interesting. <laughs> Fat birds. <laughs> up because we actually have our like killer doom combo available oh my god they're annoying witness the power for a little shock. <laughs> Blitz. <laughs> Try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> Let it rain. There we go. Ow. Okay. That was rough. I... Wow. I don't know. I don't Besides the abyss I've... order, ruin guards sure are active around here. Mm, seems wherever we find an abyss mage hideout, th there are no coincidences in the world. Everything is the fruit of seeds planted long ago. Yeah, sure. <laughs> just like your appearance in that tavern, time is just waiting for those seeds to sprout. Forget it. Just some needless musings. Weird. The connection between the Abyss Order and the Ruin Guards is by no means incidental. Did they bring the Ruin Guards Rather, into this? they are both branches that have grown out and... Branches? 
Roots? Why, why are we talking in metaphors? What do you mean exactly? <laughs> Please stop talking in metaphors. Both originate from an ancient nation that was destroyed 500 years ago. Ah. Conria. Conria. Huh? Conria? Really? The Abyss Order and Ruin Guards are left over from okay. after the destruction of that nation? Interest. Oh. Interesting. Speaking of Conria, that's really a super ancient name. How do you know that? Oh, right. As your guide, Paimon should explain a bit here. A long time ago, the nation of Conria was... Huh? You have memories of being there. But that nation was destroyed 500 years ago. Oh. Hmm. Also, I just realized his name is Is that Bab so? Well, everyone has their secrets. You did not pry into mine, so I shall not pry into yours. Okay. But, if you would like to tell me, I will listen. So, the Kanria you saw, what was it like? So that's the complete story, huh? Paimon thought that you ran into that unknown god first. So an ancient god... I see. So your first memory after coming to this world was being awoken by your brother from within that meteorite. Interesting. It seems your brother woke up first. But the question is, how long before you? Whoa. And then your brother told you that the destruction of Kanria plunged the whole world into chaos, and that you two should leave this world called Tevat? The destruction of Kanria? He said that? That destruction you witnessed, that's... history from 500 years ago. I'm old. It seems the first time you awoke in this world was indeed during that period. Huh. So your brother must have understood this world better than you did, because he woke up first. Hmm. And it was shortly after that that you encountered an unknown god who blocked your path, so you couldn't escape. Oh, Paimon knows this part really well. I understand. When you awoke at that time and hurriedly tried to leave for another world, you didn't know anything about Kanria. But now... Since you have come to gain some understanding of Tevat, you are able to... Ah, if that's the case, you must have been flipping through all sorts of books during our adventure these Dang past right. few months. Studying is right. Before going to Mondstadt, you had just looked at some vague materials. Later, we managed to gather a whole bunch of old books from all around Mondstadt and Liyue, but you told Paimon they were useless. So, the whole time you were just trying to learn more about Conria, so you could find your brother? Oh, yeah. You can travel around the Seven Nations to find the Seven. But where can you go to find a nation that was destroyed 500 okay. years ago? I probably know more about Conria than both of you. Okay. Conria was a nation without a god. Not because it had a god that died or abandoned them but because it never had a god to begin with. It was a powerful nation, built purely by humans. An unprecedented, flourishing, and glorious mm -hmm. civilization. It was the pride of humankind. A nation without a god? Later events unfolded just as you remember. It was all destroyed by gods. Oh. You mean that... Five hundred years ago, the gods descended upon the world and brought desolation to Kanya. Oh dear. The pride of humankind was uprooted and crushed, like a weed removed from the garden of the gods. But why, though? How could that be? The history books don't say anything about that. Yes, well, continuing to discuss the past now will only dampen our... Let's keep moving. I will tell you more of what you want to know as we continue our search. Okay, this... You're always like, okay, I'm kind of on the train for the story. It's kind of neat and all that. And all of a sudden it ups the ante on me. Okay, okay. I, I'm going to do a little cheese here. We're going to go to a statue of the seven and heal. 
because I was just getting my butt kicked because I was just I don't know a, a group of abyss mages and ruin and a ruin uh what do you call those ones they're not ruined guards they're the ruin warden something like that okay I'll do it later I'm I'm now like I want to know what's going on here, because this is fascinating. <laughs> 